Assalamu alaikum Muslima Media. Today, in the topic of creating positive cultural change, I want to talk about our mosques. I want to talk about us as women going back to the mosque, becoming remosked, fighting our unmosked and demosked and no thank you mosked selves, and finding a place back in the mosque. The Western experience of a spiritual community center is important. It's important because we need to find a place for our children and ourselves to go and find other people that are like-minded and like spiritually minded as well, that we, where we can share and grow and find places to learn. We need to provide a place for non-Muslims to learn about Islam and we need to provide a place for those who are distant and hurting and in pain to find comfort. The architecture of our mosques has a message. It tells us, on many of them, not all of them, but many of our mosques tell us we're not important. When we have a small, dirty room that we enter through the back alley where it's a little bit scary to walk, it tells us you're not welcome. When the bathrooms are wet and filthy and people are slapping their wet feet on the bathroom floor and then slapping their wet feet on the carpet, it tells us your presence here is not important. Our presence in the mosque is important. And our need to be there is our need to be active in the community. It's true that we don't, it's not fuddled upon us to pray the fuddled prayers or even Salat al Jum'a in the mosque. That's because it can be difficult for women. That's because some women, if you have a three-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old, it's one of the most difficult things in the world to get out of that. Just getting out of the house is a difficult process. So to make it fuddled upon us, or even to make it something that is rewarded, is a trial. It's difficult. But we, this is a center where Aisha radiallahu anha fought and spoke and discussed and made sure that no one would disallow us from going to the mosque. It's important that we recognize our role and that we recognize what needs to be done. We need to stop whining and complaining and be begin being remosked. There is no one standing in line to clean the bathrooms. That's something we can do. There is no one standing in line to create a beautiful space in the women's center, the women's area. There's no one standing in line to create classes that are daily classes of Quran. Do you know Quran? Go to your mosque and open a class. Do you speak Arabic? Go to the mosque and offer to teach Arabic. Are you an organizer? Go and offer your time. Do you know how to clean a bathroom really well? Go to your mosque and clean the bathroom. If you don't have a mosque to go to, pick one and clean the bathroom. Pick one and build something. Now people are building third spaces, and this is a good thing and an important thing. But we have to remember that the mosque is the place of prayer. This is the place where we will go for tarawih. We will go to join with our other sisters, to meet other people. If you move from one state to another, where are you going to meet your other sisters? Where are you going to build community? How are you going to find community for your children? Be responsible and be remosked. This is difficult for me. I'll be frank, it's difficult for me. It's difficult for me even to walk into a mosque and say, here I am, what can I do, and be rejected. It's not an easy thing to do. But this is part of jihad fi sabilillah. This is part of the struggle. This is part of saying, this community belongs to me, and I, as a woman, am going to speak, and do, and act, and create positive cultural change because I want my daughters to love the mosque and I want my sons to go to the mosque and recognize that women are important and I want the architecture to speak to that. Our architecture needs to speak to our importance and we, knowing our importance and understanding the empowerment inherent in Islam, need to be part of that strong cultural change. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Thank you.